All right, so I think we're about set. We have two more tins. We got another one, the Charizard one, because this one promo is awesome. We got a Raichu tin because we are giving away a Raichu tin. And I forgot my box cutter, but that's okay. We can just rip this open. So yeah, make sure you do enter. Uh, I did, I'm not sure if I mentioned but we will announce the winner this Friday, so you do have a couple days to make sure you are entered. See if we can't get this uh, promo out without damaging it. Actually, that went pretty easily. So far, I feel like I'm not a fan of the tabs. In fact, I think they're terrible, but haven't seen any promos that have been significantly damaged as a result of them, so no harm, no foul, I guess. All right, if you watch Darium, he keeps pointing out that they these tins come with one of every pack art, which seems to be the case for this one. I haven't, didn't even think to check for the other ones. So, Raichu promo, not bad. Code card. Just move around the mic a little bit. All right, let's get into our first pack. And apologies if there's a little bit more background noise. Uh, weather is nice and cool right now, so I did open up the windows. Um, this is actually my favorite time of year. So in the United States, East Coast, it's fall. Kind of like between summer and fall. But, you know, this is that nice, go to work, I don't need a jacket, maybe I'll have a light hoodie, and comfortable all day. That's my favorite time of year, weather-wise. Alright, we have a Kangaskhan for our first pack, and our reverse is a Metapod. So, uh, I do on Reddit, like, the the Charizard poles are coming out of the woodwork, and I'm getting super jealous with all the ones I see, and like, the Eevee list, oh man, if this is like, this is something good, that is pretty off-centered. Don't think that's enough for like an OC grade, but that's gotta be cutting it close. And uh, yeah, starting to see so many pictures of these sick poles, and while we're not, we things haven't been terrible like definitely room for improvement so hopefully we get something crazy I would love to pull my own oh whooper man we got so many dupes we just pulled oh my gosh look how look how off center that is maybe this is good enough for a OC great yeah actually I think it is look at how thin that is compared to the top that's insane so oh actually you know I uh I haven't submitted anything to PSA, but that is a good candidate if it can get that OC grade. I gotta get on that that PSA thing real soon. <laughs> I just been delaying so many so many sets coming out, so many other things to to accomplish that I don't. Know, in my head, I'm like, well, you know, as long as you have the cards, you can submit to PSA at any point. And well, it's kind of an accurate statement. Um, you know, maybe the prices go up, and maybe they get stricter on the grading, and also, like, I guess I'm a big procrastinator. Still haven't done it. Alright, next pack, we have Jesse and James. Doing pretty good on, oh boy, doing pretty good on those, um, full arts, and oh gosh, did we get another one already? Alright, yep, yeah, the, the curse is over, Andy, I love that art, but, you know, we, I, We've beat, beaten the curse right here. Oh, oh, it's not the shiny GX, but this one is just as good. Guzma. And I say this all the Let's see how the centering is. Uh, actually, that's pretty good. I feel like there's a couple nicks here and there, but I love this card. Maybe this thing will be... Uh, Sought after once if it's, if he gets like a reprint, but man, I can't help but harp on the fact that you know if this was a year ago. This guy would be a hundred dollar card for sure. Like this is an alternate one too, and in my opinion, it's better than the other one. So this card is amazing and missed opportunity in my opinion. Although I'm not sure how much Pokemon. The company cares about the secondary market now, how healthy it is. 
All right, last pack for the first 10. We still have another one to go, so don't you worry. But yeah, people are still reporting problems with their pre-orders. A couple people have gotten some delays, so they wait, wait at least another week. Um, I feel like I've been fortunate not to be affected, but yeah, sorry, Paul, or feel bad for everyone that's having those kind of problems, and hopefully you do get all of the product that you ordered real soon. Let's start ripping into this second tin so that was you know no shiny gx but i'm really happy with the full art trainer so to get two two good hits um you know I, at this point uh any regular gx that isn't the charizard or even though like i feel like this promo charizard supersedes that one but you know those those gx's and the reverse energies, you know, those are like, a lot of people say like they're half half point hitters. <laughs> I'm not sure what, what, what fraction is appropriate, but I feel it's a little bit less than half. <laughs> Three eighths or something like that. And boom, never going to get tired of this art. Even if everyone has them, it's probably going to be, the pop report is going to be exploding for PSA. One thing that's interesting about this set that is worth noting is maybe it's just a time to market thing, but I see a lot of, not a lot, but I see BGS shiny Charizards on eBay. I do not see the PSA ones. Maybe PSA turnaround is just that different and BGS gets the first crack at it, kind of like establish that price point. But I feel like typically Pokemon most things are PSA and you know it's only that uh, actually I, I'm not I'm not a grading expert but um, my understanding is that the BGS at the higher grades is super cr like critical and no oh, there's our three three eighths three eighths hitter psychic energy uh, but PSA you know might be the go-to for Pokemon but you know that that 10 that the uh, that pristine 10 you know that's much uh, I'm not sure if just like a 9.5 could pass for PSA 10 I'm not sure like what the exact conversion is but BGS my understanding is that they're much stricter for their top top grades but anyway I thought that was interesting that you know I haven't seen many PSA things actually I'm not sure if I've seen any must be just a that's just the turnaround time but all right, we're not paying attention to any of these cards. We have Staryu, Boltorb, Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Butterfree is our... Actually, I was about to say, this is like such a boring card, but 80 damage for two energy? That's not bad. And then a Voltorb is our reverse. Uh, so far, we only have a 3 8 hitter in our Psychic Energy for this Charizard tin. I suppose the Charizard can make up for most of that lack of, uh, so we'll call it like one hit <laughs> so far for this box. Still got a lot of the ground to cover to catch up to that other tin. Let's see like that. All right, Metal Energy. We're getting all of our focus to this pack. Sabrina Suggestion, Pokemon Center Lady, Staryu, Clefairy, Slowpoke, Pikachu, Charmander. Lapras and oh nice shiny Riolu there we go do I have shiny Riolu I'm not sure but that's a good one I like how he's a little bit golden sometimes like I feel I, I do like the the ones that are kind of like gold because it makes sense that they're shiny some of like the shiny at one point it's like oh this thing is actually like sparkly and stuff and that makes sense for the gold ones where other shinies like it's more like this is an alternate coloration but we're gonna follow the shiny name so I'm trying to think of one that's like way off <laughs> I mean the Umbreon comes to mind although the blue is it the blue is cool but I'm not sure why that would be shiny to me that's just alternate colors and all right for our last pack in this opening uh enough rambling about random topics we have eevee 
And before we reveal the last card, again, reminder to make sure you enter that giveaway. Winner announced Friday morning. And we have a Bills Analysis Reverse. That's actually pretty good. Um, I feel like Bill is used, so I'm not sure how much value. And there's no, I'm not aware of a full art for good old Bill. So I guess the Reverse is as good as it's going to get. All right, let's do a recap. We opened two tins, total eight packs. We have... Uh, I guess four hits. One of them's three eighths, though. All right, promos. Sick promos. Raichu. This Raichu. All right, there's like a Dragonite. This is like Raichu imposing as Dragonite. He's <laughs> doing that ground pound thing. Charizard. Love that art. Riolu. That's a good shiny. Three three eighths hitter with the psychic. Oh, Guzma. Definitely the hit of the day. Full art Guzma. Love it. And then a whooper. Super miscut. Oh, man. So, there you have it. Um, I'll consider that a successful opening. But, uh, yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Check out Andy's uh, Instagram link down below. Join us in the Discord link down below as well. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm a Wanna Turtle. Excuse me. And I'll catch you guys next time.